here are some of the highlights um, from the uh, physicians who participated in this roundtable. Um, Dr. Chila Curry um, has a, a very huge, diverse practice in Houston, Texas, and he gave his treatment protocol for melasma. He starts with hydroquinone. He, he does under 6% and non-hydroquinone, you know, blending products at home. So he starts them off on that. Then he follows with the Jesner and salicylic acid peels and microdermabrasion. He alternated those. And then he does several treatments with the NEO. Um, and um, he does these treatments about three to four weeks apart. Um, and his statement is just spot on. With melasma, we're targeting different aspects, the epidermal pigment, dermal pigment, upper dermal pigment, lower dermal pigment, vasculature, and I would say collagen, right? Photodamaged collagen. So um, the peels treat the epidermal melanin, but you know, not so much deeper. Um, lasers can break up epidermal pigment, but with the microsecond technology, we're, we're more specific to that. We're able to do the dermal melanin and vasculature that the peels cannot treat. So versus having to, you know, before this laser came out, um, I would, you know, have to pull out maybe three lasers to treat my melasma patients. Um, if I was even going to do a laser treatment, I'd have to, you know, pull out three different lasers, each one for a different component. But now we're able to do it all with one laser, which makes us more efficient. This is a patient um, who, as you can see, has some perioral pigmentation. And this is her before and after. She had four treatments. And these were done. These are uh, photos of courtesy of Drs. Johnson and Cruz. And, um, you know, these fluences were used about 21 to 41, and um, these four sessions were done, and then they combined it with this perfect 10 peel, um, which is basically a kind of glutathione, um, kojic um, type of peel, and then used after the laser. So I think her results are impressive, and, Again, uh, what I like a lot about the NEO is that I don't have to um, stop what I'm doing for melasma. This is an addition, and it's getting people clear quicker. So um, very nice result using um, combination modalities with the NEO. So this is a 66-year-old female. A uh, patient of mine who had very brittle melasma. I mean, I did everything with her chemical peel, microdermabrasion, nothing would work. So, um, throughout a 10 year span, she continued to worsen. And just a reminder when you're dealing with melasma, always check the medications and make sure that the patients aren't in any photosensitizers. So, these are my settings. And, um, I was able to get a very nice result with that. I mean, when you look at her zygoma, that's really significant clearing of the pigment. And she was one of my early patients with this technology, and I really became a believer because this was just after one treatment. Um, really nice. And what you can also see in this picture is that not only is the hyperpigmentation um, improve. Look at the texture of her skin. Her skin just looks in better condition, right? And we all know what that means. Her skin looks fresher. It looks a little tighter. It just looks healthier.